But this is a little island. It's accessible over a small bridge. Cruising through the Mani still. I'm just about 10, 15 miles you know, northeast of uh, Cardamili, where I'd spent three days catching up. So, leaving Cardamili, I'm headed to Lefkada, an island to northwestern Greece. Beautiful aquamarine waters, accessible by bridge and has some of the most amazing beaches in the world on the Ionian Sea. Lovely. I'm just winding around all these olive groves once again. I just saw another one of those um, right ahead of us. Castles, or uh, towers. Mani people built these towers to fend off intruders. Tappers. I filled up the uh, Cobra can oil uh, chain oiler. Does not work on gravity, works on pressure. So I've been kind of keeping it, you don't want to go too fast when I activate it. I activate it for 10 or 15 miles. And then it, it runs out of the oil until you turn the uh, dial again. So we'll pick up a little speed. But they're windy, twisty roads, no need to go fast. But plenty of olives to line the road as I wander around. The guy had a sign on the side of the road a few miles back and it said, Olive oil for sales. For sales, S-A-L-E-S. -S. Beautiful scenery, these mountains are stunning. Rock faces, lots of green foliage, not as barren as it was, of course, in the further south. And you kind of run through these little towns. I mean, look at these legends. Look at that guy. I'm sure he's the priest in town. He's just hanging out there with his cane. I always wave. I always like to be friendly, especially when people are watching the world go by. Cars just whiz by. And then there's me on this crazy motorcycle loaded up. Wow, look at that. It's about 10.30 in the morning. A little bit of a traffic jam here. Anyway, that's the latest from the road. Yeah, we're now on the, you know, this is what they would call the freeway. Except it's not free. I had my first toll outside of Kalamata was um, one euro and 30 cents. The service area. And the next one is 70 kilometers or about um, 40 miles. So I'm going to fill up. Uh, I'm coming along at about 70 miles an hour. Definitely blowing me all over the place. Holy sugar. Woo! It is windy! This is a hell of a bridge. This is Petra. We're headed to Rio. This is where all the ferries go and take people to Italy and beyond. There's a ferry down there. Woo! Yeah. Look at the beautiful water. Pretty high tech looking ferry, that red one down there too. But we don't need no stinking ferry. Nope. We are motoring. And I guess we're gonna have to pay for this little windy bridge ride, huh? What do you think they're gonna get for us? Let's just see right now. It looks like uh, two euro, dollar ninety. That's all right.
Hello. I've learned after being on some of these cheap toll roads is finally not to take the receipts. It's about all these receipts piling up. I'm like, why do I have so many receipts? I'm not I'm not spending that kind of money. Uh oh. It's eleven oh five here in Lefkad, an island in the uh, I believe it's the Ionian uh, Province. I mean, we have to confirm that. I've, I've uh, been trying to get a sense of the names of the cities, the capitals of the provinces, or as we would call them, states in the U.S. Uh, but this is a little island. It's accessible over a small bridge. And today, there are a lot of people trying to go over the bridge and also leave the island on that same bridge. Oh my god, I can't believe it. I've already gone 20 miles. Where is this island? It's supposed to be some of the most beautiful beaches in all of Greece. Now, wait a minute. So it was backed up. Having a motorcycle certainly gives it a little bit of advantage. What's this? What's this traffic? Is this guy having a meeting? I'm gonna blow past this stuff. It's kind of narrow here. But the roads are so narrow, you don't want to, you know, with this long line of cars waiting to get over that bridge, you start barreling down that, uh, that left-hand lane. Mile. More than a mile. You know, you don't want one of these big M-A-N, Mon, I say, you know, these big German uh, trucks to come blasting down at you, and then you don't have any room to cut back in because everybody is so tight in the line waiting to get over the bridge. Wow, it's a bridge. It's the only way onto the island. Oh my goodness. This is not really a bridge. This is a boat that turns into a bridge. There's only one way on and off the island if you're in a car, and there's only one way into the harbor if you're in a boat. And that's through the little canal that that boat bridge spans, which means any time a boat wants to come into the harbor, that boat bridge needs to move, backing up traffic. I mean, look how many people are Ah, here we are in the harbor. Welcome to Levkada. We got onto the island, I'm at uh, Hotel Kokoni. It is uh, a friend of John's, uh, Nick, his cousin Nikolai, or Nicholas, Nicholas, and uh, Georgian, who apparently is in DC, lives there. And, uh, we've emailed back and forth, I haven't met her personally yet, but she's like, but I want to be there. And I agree, you know, it's kind of kind of nice. And I'm at a place called Seven Islands, Taverna Seven Islands. Everything's a Taverna. And um, I'm having a local white wine that I uh, can't tell you much about. Other, Well, I can tell you that it tastes great. It's dry. It's, um, I don't know the varietal that it's made from. Uh, it tastes good. I just had this fish which is called chichera, uh, which is like a white fish. They actually call it white mullet is the translation in English. My goodness. It was brought in today, uh, fresh. They're little fish, you know, and it uh, perfect size for uh, one, one portion for me. And, um, and the ride here, was, it was a good five. I left it about one got here at about 6.30. So call it five and a half hours. 
I did stop a few times, you know, getting fuel, and then there was one little scare. I went to one gas station, a service area, kind of rest area on this uh, national road, as they call it, and the uh, they were getting refilled with gas. The guy says it's going to be 40 minutes, and at this point, I figured I had barely 30 to 40 miles of reserve fuel left because my light was on. So I decide I don't want to wait 40 minutes. So I motor on. But I really, you know, the, I've got this um, massive headwind coming on me. So I don't want to give it too much gas. I don't want to use too much fuel. I want to make sure I can get to the next rest area before running out. And, uh, and I made it. There's no question I made it. Uh, but I, but, the, but it took longer. I mean, I was running at about 50 miles an hour for about 30 miles. Whereas this road's national road, you know, you can you can motor. I've been doing about 70. At least that's what my speedometer says. I know it's a little bit favoring the, the, the faster, so maybe I'm doing 68, whatever. You know, Doc is not meant to go hugely fast, right? But uh, and then when I get off of the national road, I'm thinking, oh, God, okay, I'm... You know, I should be, what, 10 miles or so till uh, I get to Lefkada? You know, I don't, the problem with the GPS, you don't really get a sense of scale. You don't really have to map. And I miss those maps. I do. But, you know, next thing I know, the GPS is coming through the freaking headphone speakers and telling me, well, on 22 miles, take the next road. And then I go to the 22 miles, it says, go another 12 miles. And then when I say another 12 miles, it's like another thing, I go another 10 miles. Like, oh my goodness, am I ever going to get to this place? And then I get into Lefkad and it's busy, you know. Once I get over that bridge, there is uh, traffic packed into the little marina area. One big truck is unloading stuff, you know, it doesn't pull off. And, and, then, and everybody's using There's not a lot of roads on this island, let me tell you. Wow, there's fish. There's fish playing right over here. I just saw them jump up. There's a cat over there. Checking the activity out. Wow. Anyway. Uh, lovely little restaurant. Lovely taverna. The hotel Nicholas is... Uh, the young Nicholas and then Nick, the older guy. Um, super accommodating. But I'm having fun. And... Uh, I'm going to stay two days here. I'm going to see some beaches. I'm going to catch up on Instagram. I'm going to catch up on podcasts. And I'm going to do a couple videos. You know, onward. Soon to Albania. Because it's freaking August 3rd. you got to love all the uh, stands on the side of the road. People selling olive oil, watermelon, fruits, honey. Wonderful. That that was a little town of dragon. Dragon. <laughs> same things. They're all selling most of the same things. So I have to tell you, I did take a ride back out to Puerto Caciqui, the beach, for the uh, there's that possum I saw dead yesterday. I did take a ride back out to Puerto Caciqui. I wanted to fly the drone. Yesterday I had a problem where my phone wasn't charged enough. For some reason, my battery pack brick was not charging it. I think it was just too hot. So I took the uh, ride out there, flew the drone over the beach. Beautiful. That water is crystal clear, transparent. And at one point I decided to bring that drone back because I lost visual of it. I was looking at the screen too long, trying to get some good footage, some good stills, and I couldn't find it, so I hit return to home, and it starts coming home, but it doesn't really look like it's coming towards me or anything, it's lost. So then all of a sudden, the drone says, unable to land, I just went through a swarm of bees, a lot of people making money after, you know, collecting worker bees, and I'm like listening to it, I do it, I, I'm listening for it, I can't hear it, I'm looking for the drone, uh, my heart is beating fast, um, and, I, and then I realize, okay, let's look at the map. It seems like it's not that far away. I move the camera down to kind of get it so I can see exactly what it's above, 
and I can see the little parking area where I'm parked, where I'm standing, and I fly towards it, and it's in view. But what scared me for a moment is it showed the height of this at minus something eight meters, minus seven, which would tell me that because I'm standing on a cliff, I must have flown it lower than the cliff I was seeing, which is which makes sense because I was trying to get a more of a bird's eye view of the uh, of the beach, get a little closer. And I thought by saying "come home," it would automatically rise to the right altitude. Somehow, I don't think it knew the altitude. Heart beating. Where's the drone? Finally, I do see it, and I bring it home, land it safely in the parking lot. But boy, I've never been more scared in my life. But there it goes. I'm only into my second, third week here and uh, on this journey, and I've already lost the drone. But nope, we're good. The drone's back. tiny town of Katamini that had a traffic light. You had to wait four minutes for four minutes because only one direction of traffic could go through that tiny little town. We are winding down this crazy road to get to another crazy beach. Yeah. Oh wow, look at the paragliders have some lift and some clips, I'm guessing. You can feel a little windy, breezy, windy, breezy. Engine this bike feels real hot and was starting to feel a little tired when I was passing someone. Doc doesn't like this extreme heat. You know, I got a line of traffic behind me, ahead of me. We're just winding our way around. Lipkara's got some of the best beaches in the world. On this tree-studded island, connected by a little bridge to the mainland. You don't need to get on a boat to come to Lefkada. But once you're on Lefkada, there are plenty of boats you can get on if you want to circle the island and access some of the beaches that cannot be accessed by car or motorcycle. 